Hello guys, welcome back to Cycle Lane. I'm your host. This is going to be a one year um, bicycle review about my pan of year. Now, those of you who watched my previous video, which right now is actually uploading during the time of me recording this video, but it'll be up by the time I uh, post this one. And this one here is my previous rear pannier, which I had up, in which it was actually pretty awesome to use. However, unfortunately, during the year that I had it, the uh, this thing doesn't have any clips to go down, or well, not to hang on to the deal, but it does have the strap, and I uh, was held down by the strap, along with two of uh, these things here as well, in which it both ends of these things had hooks, since this thing had a total of four hooks. Unfortunately, those hooks have disappeared. And I didn't even know it until I started doing this thing today. So, what happened to them? I don't know. Other than somehow just became lost in time. But, I liked this part right here, because I went directly with my rear rack. And, uh... It was pretty awesome. It was waterproof and uh, whatnot, but now after a year of uh, wear and tear, it is not as waterproof anymore. I mean, this stuff has waterproof design underneath it, but uh, I don't know what happened, but after a period of time, this thing actually started becoming not so waterproof. So I think we're getting, uh, some of the things on the top are starting to get a little, uh, little damp, but nothing destroyed. Everything's still good, safe, and able to be used. But it's just the fact that it got a little damp inside is, the only, is what my main concern of this here was. And this here kept falling off, so I ended up having to reattach it several times. I had to reattach it three times. And as you can tell, the two, uh, there are, uh, two silver hooks that are usually there are completely gone, and I have no clue where they're at. I don't know when they fell off, disappeared, whatever. But I can always take those things off and replace it with some new hooks and whatnot, which I may end up doing. I don't know. I'm going to clean this thing up and uh, save it for uh, future use if I ever need it, or as a backup in case. I don't like having backup in case, but uh, for now, I'm just going to put it in storage and leave it there. But I probably will clean it up and buy new hooks and buy new straps for us before I put it in storage. I'll probably do that. But this thing, I uh, do have very few complaints about it. Um, one of my biggest complaints besides losing a hook and those straps coming undone, I had to cut this side off so I could just uh, cut it off. That thing came undone by its own self. But uh, this here, um, it, does t um, it does tend to lean... Is why you see this here as this here. I mean, I could always put this straight, but even with it being straight, uh, this here would actually tend to actually go towards like a V shape, like an upside down V, to uh, towards the uh, uh, the fork of it. And this part here would tend to grind a lot on the uh, spokes. As you can tell from the bend on here to here, this is a very big bend. In which there was no bend when I when I purchased this thing when it arrived, and when I opened it up and put it on my bike. But now there is a bend. So if you have this thing on the tighter, you have this thing on your uh, uh, rear, and if you have a on a rear rack, it will bend whether you like it or not. I didn't like it, but I had to deal with it for what I could. So, and I was happy with it for a period of time. But yeah, so it'll it does bend and. It does curve too. And this here, if it gets into, uh, if you have anything like I did, well, even if you don't have anything like I did, I don't know if it'll do it without the uh, plaques to have on there. But uh, with my plaques, even being way out of the way, because the, black, the plaques are awesome. I mean, here's the impression of where the plaque was from whatnot. And you could tell that it's actually a lot smaller than this thing here. But still, it uh, kept grinding onto the spokes. Now, for my part, that would probably be because I have a lot of stuff in my panniers is I keep a lot of bicycle equipment in there. So if I need it at any time, all I got to do is pull over, reach into there, fix up my bike, do whatever I need, or do a bit of uh, bicycle maintenance on the spot. So that part may be due to my fault of having so, oh, so much equipment in there. Also, I have uh, rainproof gear in my panniers. I always keep it in there in case it rains. 
uh, ponchos and stuff like that, so I can stay dry, emergency ponchos. But uh, so that might be uh, due in part to being how much stuff I had in there, so that probably be, may or may not have been my fault. I don't know. I will attribute to it to being my fault a little bit because I had some stuff in there, so I've um, I, uh, also uh, redistributed the weight of the stuff I had from one side to the other because we all know bikes lean towards one side. And I figured if it was on the side that's uh, being leaned, then it would actually help out so, uh, a lot better to stabilize the bicycle. Well, that didn't help out towards uh, with this thing at all, and that's what actually what made this thing on my part to actually hit the spokes a lot. So I, I transferred the weight from here to here. But regardless of that, this thing still um, grinded against the spokes. So, and I'm going to see how that one goes. That one there is a lot better material, and it's actually a lot more uh, waterproof, allegedly, than this one here is. And it actually has a lot more room. I'm actually surprised it didn't take up all my entire rack, because according to uh, the deal on eBay, it would uh, it would have taken the entire rack, and I wasn't sure if I was going to actually uh, uh, let me do my bicycle light or not, but uh, that's a review for a different time. But uh, anyways... Overall, I was satisfied with this, but it has uh, cons well. I mean, everything's going to have its cons and its pros. Now, another con I didn't like about this here is the straps right here. I enjoyed that it had straps so it could strap it down. And also had Velcro right there so you can also make sure that that stayed there and it's not going to go anywhere. And you can uh, buckle it up so it's definitely not going to go anywhere. However, whenever I had to put stuff in here that... Uh, was over the capacity of the straps, then I couldn't buckle that down. If I had, and if I had to force myself to buckle it down, it would be very, very tight and almost could not buckle it down. Like carrying my coat, a couple of extra things when I worked at Chicken Express. But, uh, um, just gonna say that part as far as this ever goes. But, uh, yeah, I didn't like the straps in here were very, very, very short. These cannot extend at all. These are non extending straps. But it was my favorite color. Black is my favorite color. And it did serve its purpose. And it was awesome. So because it uh, does uh, did serve its purpose, I don't know if I'm actually going to reuse it or not because of this bend. I don't know if I should be even put the time and money to actually get in some new material to fix this stuff up a bit. I don't know. I just might end up uh, junking it. I don't know. I did use the... Uh, uh, plastic thing in here for my other pen here, so I'll show you guys that after a while. But this is a review of this thing, so and as much as I'm wanting to tell you guys about the other thing, I'm, I'm refraining right now. I'm like, I need to, I want to, but I'm like, no, you cannot. So I'm forcing myself to not say anything about my other pen here. I'm forcing myself to only speak, speak about this because this video is only about this. So, but anyways, it was a nice pen here while it lasted, and uh being out in the sun a lot, especially when I'm, uh, when I cycled with, uh, this thing, because, uh, I am a cyclist enthusiast, and I actually do prefer my bicycle, but, uh, I'm not gonna neglect, uh, my motor vehicle, and actually I used my motor vehicle when, uh, I was sick, so that way I could make it easier for myself, and my bicycle for when I'm not sick. And I use, also use my uh, bicycle for pretty much running in town and my car for pretty much anything I need to do out of town or if I need to do something or get something that my bicycle can't handle. So, or if I just want to ride my car, then I just ride my car. But anyways, <sighs> but if anybody has uh, a different way of doing things, the way uh, if anybody's got uh, their own specific way of doing things. Um, I know one of my friends, I know how one of my friends does, does it, and that's pretty cool. Um, I love that they, I love the idea that they have on their part, so they know who they are. So, that's a very awesome uh, idea. And I was actually thinking about doing that myself until my car broke down, but, uh, yeah. I love, I love that idea, it's pretty cool. And, uh, that's it for this one here, so that's my review of this one here. So, it's got its pros and it's got its cons, but, um... Either way, if you need something that's relatively cheap, this is only 20 bucks on eBay, then throw down a $20 bill and you're good to go. You'll get it in a few weeks and, you're, and you'll be ready to rock. Better than nothing. So, anyways, thank you guys for the uh, 
love and support. I appreciate it. And uh, love and peace until next week.